This makes me nervous. I don't feel like it's safe. I hope we don't have to evacuate. Welcome to our vlog today. So yesterday we traveled from Yellowstone all the way to Utah. We packed our car up and we stopped at the park along the way, which was really fun for the kids. You want to go to that one? Yeah. That looks super fun. There's a lot of things. That looks so cool. Oh, look at you, Chris and Michael. We found such a great park. It looks so fun. Are you driving? Good job! My kids love getting out and finally getting to climb somewhere. You're a good pirate ship driver! So there's this amazing park, there's slides there, there's this thing here, there's climbing stuff, a playground, swing, zipline. Owen has done nothing since we got here, except, oh he might move. All he's doing is talking like a pirate and driving the boat. That's all he's doing. And then he's instructing all of his siblings what to do. We just got to our rental place. Hello, we're here, we've been driving all day. So they made this house to be like an era. They wanted to look like the 70s, so. I think it does. Did you find a couch? There's a nice view out the window. There's a room, there's a room. Nice. This is the kitchen. Oh, look at the backyard. Oh, it's nice. Really pretty backyard. Baby, look at the backyard. You guys get a house tour with every house we rent. So, yeah. Exactly like Grandma and Grandma's gonna This does. This is definitely a grandparent house. Oh, look at that. No, that's and that's a pretty view, huh? Look at the pillows. Ooh. We're gonna see if there's very ancient panels in town. I was just thinking, I wish all the pictures on the wall were like my grandparents. I wish that was my family. Then I'd be so happy at this house right now, seeing my own family's pictures. I think this is a basement. I guess you would call this a basement because it's kind of below ground. I'm just gonna say when I'm a grandparent, David, I don't want my house to be like a grandparent house. I want it to be super cool. Don't let me be like a weird grandma. Okay, thanks. I just got really happy because look at this laundry room. I actually kind of really like that curtain, but look at all the laundry soap. I could do so much laundry. We're going through the kitchen. We're finding antiques. This is crazy. Seriously, I've never, they don't package stuff like this anymore. Wow. I don't even think French's makes mint flakes any longer. <laughs> French's makes mustard, everybody knows that. She's like, it's an antique you might find at the Goodwill. People like collect it. I found Tupperware like my mom used to have when I was a kid. Look at this. It was 11 cents, apparently, for this box oh of caraway seeds. It's never, looks like it's never it's been brand opened. New. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, well, I think someone like just turned their grandparents' house into an Airbnb and they didn't even take anything out. The kids are like out in the backyard exploring already. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an Airbnb with this much like random stuff. This is all fine china. Like I'm kind of scared to touch it because it looks like it's really, really special and old. Are you guys having fun? Our cousins are gonna come over too, okay guys? Yay! We started to try to set up just a little bit and we thought I we should make dinner. Cook, okay? So I mean, these colanders are so old. I mean, I mean these, antiques are cool, but they're not practical for <laughs> modern cooking. You don't want like chemicals and minerals in your food. And Let's show everybody the knives. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the PG-13 oh. part of the video. No, I'm just kidding. And look at that. Knife number one. Okay. So Knife number two. So really like long knife and there's this the cooking sense. utensil. Hey, we can't figure out this one. It? We don't know what this it's thing not is. Not even got a serrated edge. If it was a bread knife, I don't know. What is maybe it? I don't know what that maybe is. Maybe it's a butter knife. Those are the most impressive. Butter. We came back to Utah and ended our trip traveling around the national parks a little sooner than planned because my grandma's gonna be having a viewing in the next couple of days here and we wanted to make sure that we could attend that. And Matt has grandparents still living, both of them in their 90s. Actually, Matt has three grandparents still living, which is fantastic, but two of them also live in Utah, so we're gonna visit them as well. We're also gonna see some of our other cousins and family members, which is great. We saw some last night. I just wish it didn't have to be that you don't see family like this except for when the circumstances aren't that great. I think we should all make a goal to change that. If you're watching our video and you wish you saw your family more or that your kids had cousins, like we always wish, 
let's make a goal to change it. I want to make a goal that we hang out with our family more often and we find time to get together that's not just at like sad times like we are right now. They have some pretty fun toys here, huh? Yeah, just for babies. These are good grandparent toys. My kids love these ones. I used to have this when I was a baby. Aww. The big kids are gonna play outside. We had a family reunion back here once. You guys probably don't remember. There's lots of fun stuff. She texted me just now. Peggy said she thought you were her, she was your favorite. <laughs> oh, now she says, of course. <laughs> Oh, we're a glad. Good surprise. A good surprise, yeah. Look what we just made. I mean, I just made a what? <laughs> With the help of Auntie Hee Hee. You're a good driver. No matter where we go, you love to drive. Thank you, son. Oh, don't look at the sun. <laughs> Whee! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it was really nice to see them. They're both in their 90s, like we said. But they're doing pretty well, don't you think? I think so. We're trying to convince them to let us take them to Disneyland. Now we're on the way to go visit my sister, but we're starving, so we're in the drive-thru to grab some food, and there's the coolest car ever out the window. That car is so cool. My kids are having to get a million pictures, of course. We just got to my sister's apartment, and we're noticing all of the broken and fallen down tree branches because they had a huge storm in Utah recently. I hear the excitement. He's bigger already? Well, he is bigger. Oh my gosh. We're on a little walk with my sister's new dog. They're starting to get a little bit ahead of us, but that's because we have somebody small who just really wanted to walk. So this is where we're walking. There's this little lake with a ton of ducks and geese. Another tree that got knocked down. This one's huge. That's crazy. Apparently there's like 100,000 people without power because the winds were extremely high. This makes me nervous. The tree that tree is leaning on is angled and this one's angled a little too. So we're gonna get out of here because I don't feel like it's safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, 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 don't go in with him. Oh my gosh. The dog just got in the most nasty water. He's gonna shake on us, watch out. <laughs> they jumped at the same time. <laughs> Good job, Owen. Oh, wow, nice. That's my good boy. Good calm. Good boy, Coda. Good boy. So they plant flowers outside the fence, and you can pick. Oh, you got some too? Yeah. I like them. Wow. Whoa. It's a lot of sunflower. So you might wonder why I look a little wet. That's because I went to wash my feet again. Of course, not falling like I did last time when I tried to wash my feet and got slippery and fell. But anyway, the shower was on, so let's call a little shower. Okay, we saw my sister and her husband, and now we're gonna go see our like sister. She's like a really, really, really close friend to our family, and her kids are like cousins of mine, so we're gonna go there next. We're almost there. We're in our 
sister's house and she's gone. Victoria! Victoria? It is very clean. Hopefully it stays this way. Maybe we shouldn't have broken in. Wait, let me see. There's horses back there? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, they're cowboys. They're getting the cows in. Oh, that's cool. All the girls are going to the store. Have fun, Matt. We always say girls stay with girls, boys stay with boys. So, not our fault that we all have mostly boys. Have fun. Enjoy your man time. We weren't kidding, we left all the boys at home, which means Alyssa, myself, my sister, and Victoria are the only girls in the whole family, and we went to the grocery store. A store I've never heard of before. Are you guys alive? Yeah. Everyone's alive? Is daddy asleep? No, I did. Oh. I did seconds ago. Uh -huh. Hi. I got you dinner. I eat it. We are going to eat it. We're all cooking things in the kitchen. <laughs> it takes a while. I almost got it. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. The struggle is real. No judging. She can actually do it. Yeah. Is there a church? I'm good to stop. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, it's got three openings. Oh my god. Are you gonna do it? It's canceling the tent table. Oh, I think you got it. I have a lot of cameras. Oh, oh. What? Whoa. Shut up and got it. I think you got it. This is very complicated. Well, Matt's trying to rest, I guess you could say. Oh, did you see the track and Auntie, he's building a really awesome train track. Yeah. Everybody else is just hanging out and talking, including myself. rental property here in Utah and this is not good that's a fire yeah, and, that's and it's right by where we're gonna be staying so yes I'm it's really here. close to where we're staying and it's gotten way bigger since we first noticed it we're getting close to our house and also a lot closer to this fire this is crazy oh my gosh I don't know if we're gonna really get to our house oh my gosh guys I hope our streets not blocked off this is literally right outside our door, guys. I hope we don't have to evacuate. I'm gonna text the landlord. We're trying to get to our house, but there's literally people over here sitting on picnic blankets watching the fire. This is crazy. Okay, this is our road. We're gonna ask if we can get around. This is a full parking lot of people watching the fire. Boy, guys, this is way too close. I got you, don't worry. Are you a little nervous? Nervous, he doesn't want to drive in the fire. I know, he's holding you, okay? Yeah. Well, this is the next street we're trying to go to to get to our house. So we're gonna try one other way. All right, we made it to the house. It was a little crazy, we had to take some side roads, but we made it. We have to leave all the lights on on the house outside tonight. And I guess just be listening in case we end up having to also evacuate. I know, you're tired, huh? Good job.
have a good day. Oh, she's pretending to be asleep. Wow. <laughs> did you enjoy your day today? I did. It was a good day. Good. Yeah, we had a really nice day, I agree. Thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.